Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be showing you guys how to change, or not change, to um, check your transmission fluid in a 2006 Infiniti G35 Coupe. Um, it has a V6 3.5 liter, that doesn't really matter, but we're going to be checking the transmission fluid. Um, so right down here, so this is the engine you're looking at from a side view, from this, uh, this is the right side of the car. You're going to want to go back here, and you'll see this right here. And right here, there's a little thing you have to unscrew, as you guys can see, on the top of it. So, what you will need is preferably a extender for this type of tool, and you will need a 3 8 extender with a um, 10 millimeter um I want to call this a hex, but it's not. You want a 10 millimeter one of these and uh, a three and a half, three eighth extender. So make sure it fits and it doesn't fall off. So you're going to want to go down here, <clears throat> go to it, like so, find where it fits, and go ahead and unscrew it. Mine is slightly unscrewed, it's loose, but. <coughs> that should be fine. Get it to where you can loosen it with your hand. And go ahead, unloosen it with your hand. There is a washer right there. As you guys can see, I'm wiggling it. Be sure not to lose it because then you will have to find your own. And that would be bad. So go ahead and unloosen it. Until it can come out. And when you start feeling it come out, do not drop it. And this is what it will look like. And I like to set it right here because on the G35 there's a little, um, it's like a little case where the battery is. Um, so yeah. And be sure you have a paper towel so when you take this out and it, it doesn't screw, all you do is pull up and it'll come out. And as you guys can see, it is kind of bent down there. So it will come out at an angle and make sure when you put this back in this is going to line up with that so you pull it out like so and right now as you guys can see there is oil here let me hold it or there is fluid on it but I don't um I'm actually may need to change it but I, on this car it shows hot on the stick if it'll focus. It says hot, and I think it says cold somewhere, or it may not. No, it just says hot. So actually, I may need to change mine, but that will be in a different video. So I'm going to try to set this down and make sure it is aligned. So. When you have this, you're going to want to take your paper towel and wipe it off to where it's dry. And your fluid wants to be, you, you want it to be red. So when you put it back in, make sure you have this on this side. So whenever you go in, it will align. And um, it's going to be hard. Enough. Okay, I see it. I wish I had my flashlight. So you're going to want to put it back in, all the way down, all the way down until it touches the um, clamp, pull it back up, make sure it doesn't hit anything, and if you've got oil on it, like that right there, hopefully you guys can see that, actually I don't think I need to change it. But, yeah, so that's how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and grab my phone again. And let me go ahead and put this back off. I'll put this back in. Oh, never mind. I need to do this. This is my first type of video like this, so I'm sorry if I'm going slow. Alright, 
Take your paper towel, wash off your hands because your hands will be greasy. So now, since I put it back in, right there, you're gonna wanna grab this and make sure it is aligned. Make sure it fits. Put it in there, feel around, make sure you don't drop it because that would suck. And then screw it on with your finger. Zzz. Screw it on with your fingers until you get it tight enough to where you can use the um, the wrench, whatever it's called. Um, so you take it just like this. Oh, make sure you change the setting. Take it, put it on. I'm doing this to the camera, so it's weird. it's tight and there you go so guys I am having transmission problems with my car um, as you guys can as you guys could tell from my earlier video that I posted um, I don't know what is wrong with it this was to check my oil make sure there's nothing in it uh, make sure it was the right color make sure there was actually in there some in there but I was driving, as you guys can, as you guys know from the story I told, I was driving and a big thud came, um, a big thud came from underneath the car, and then as soon as that happened, the service engine light came on, and I think it went into limp mode, as someone told me in the comments down below in the last video, and it wouldn't drive over 15 miles an hour at half throttle, which means it should be accelerating, but uh, we're gonna go get this checked out sometime, put it on a trailer, and go take it to a guy. Um, it won't be cheap to drop a new transmission in this, um, but it's going to have to happen for this car to end up running for my ne other videos. So, yeah, this is a video of how to check your 2006 Infiniti G35 Coupe transmission oil or transmission fluid. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video or thought it was helpful, please drop a like on this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what I should do next. Um, or if you guys have any ideas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and see you guys in the next one.